Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the illest Maddie, 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 Maddie. It's the illest blood in the land. Welcome back to Ill Blur Maddie. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's just thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let's get right into today's new video. Uh, it's celebrity news and celebrity news. Kanye West is getting canceled left and right. Yes, I mean, come on. Billionaire Kanye West is definitely um going through some things. And I mean, it started off pretty much with what he said recently in the Drink Champs uh podcast about his anti-Semitic remarks. Also, it's talking about things that he had he had issues with Adidas again, and also not just Adidas, George Floyd. So a lot of the companies have kind of just been like left and right saying, you know what? We are fed up with Kanye West. We don't want to do no business with him or, or a uh, partnership. And I mean, I get it. You know what I'm saying? People can move on from relationships or partnerships at a company, but let's be realistic about this. I get it. We're not going to all agree with Kanye West. Let's be realistic about it. But is freedom of speech really a thing? I mean, you, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I You don't have to agree with everything someone says, right? But for them to kind of like cut off people and just say, hey, this is it. We're done. It's insane, okay? So let's talk about this. So with Kanye West, we know that the label has dropped him. Uh, Dev Jam. Dev Jam said, hey... We don't stand for these anti-Semitic remarks that Kanye said in this other interview. We are officially cutting ties with him. And I said, man, you know, it, it's crazy that a label can just get rid of you, a record label, and, and, and don't even really go into like, not necessarily into detail, but just say, hey, we don't like what you said. Oh, you off the label. I was like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Now, the other thing that I thought was the most interesting, which I, I mean, I talked about before, was the whole thing with Chase Bank canceled them. And this is where it comes into play. And I'm not going to talk about the freedom of speech thing, but your image. And the reason I say your image is also something that people look at is not just uh, the other thing, you know, you're saying your voice, you know, what I'm saying freedom of speech. Uh, I think Chase Bank didn't like uh, the direction uh, of where Kanye was going in, you know what I'm saying, with all the the controversy, because we know Kanye is a controversial artist when it comes to what he what he says on platforms, right? I, I think with Chase Bank, it was the most shadiest, how they could have did uh, uh, anybody. I mean, that taught me something. When I, when I looked into that, I said, man, a bank? like cutting ties with you and saying you got up to like next month to really say, Hey, look, you got into this grace period and say, you know what? You got to get all your money out of here. We don't know what you're going to do with your money and don't give you an explanation. That's insane. Okay. I'm just saying y'all, y'all can say what y'all want to say. That's insane. But you can call us. What? You can call. Look, Give us a call and we can explain what happened with no real explanation. So that shows you that your image is also important. If they don't like your image, they're like, hey, we <laughs> that's it. Um <laughs> with the Adidas situation, let's talk about this Adidas. Um, Adidas said we don't stand by the anti-Semitic remarks. The German company. Um, and I think they realized like, um, we don't like his image. We don't like what he's spewing in these interviews. And I think Adidas was like, you know, they felt like the betrayed friend because, you know, Kanye talked about them in quite a few of his interviews. Okay. Let's not act like he didn't. He talked about them in the Sway interview that was years back. That was probably by far my favorite Kanye interview. Um, and I think they probably felt like the, the friend enemy, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can we trust you, Kanye? You know what I'm saying? After you kind of like spazzed on us on an interview and also drink champs, the last interview too, you know what I'm saying? 
So I think they realize like, well, we love that you brought something unique to Adidas, but at the end of the day, we don't like how you talking about us. You know what I'm saying? Realistically, right? Um, the gap in the uh, Foot Locker, I mean, for y'all people that's big on a Kanye's fashion apparel, whether it's the shoes or the clothing, y'all better hop on because I'm pretty sure once these products sell, they're going to be harder to find, meaning like you're not going to find this anywhere. Um, you know, and also let's talk about the other one that he that he uh, recently broke ties with. Uh, the freedom of speech people, uh, I guess you could say, what is it, CCA? They broke, uh, you know, they broke ties with him. Also, Balenciaga. Uh, but it goes to show you uh, your image. And freedom of speech is not, it's, it's hard to say, man. Because if it was freedom of speech, he could say what he wanted to say, right? Be realistic about it. You know what I'm saying? If it's in the Constitution, for the people that live in the U.S., is it really freedom of speech? No, because not everyone's canceling. Now, the one company that is standing by him, and, you know, I guess it's money, and I guess they say, yo, we, the only way they could probably, um, I guess you could say, not stand by him, well, not necessarily stand by him, get uh, canceled, is pretty much if the, the record label. And let me talk about that after that. So, Spotify is the only company that I know of so far, uh, the, the head of the company is saying, yo, I don't, I disagree with what Kanye said. And he's saying that, you know, I'm still going to keep his music catalog up. And I'm pretty sure he's down in music sales due to some of the stuff he said, of course. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if he's even that billionaire status anymore due to this situation. Um, but it goes to show you there is someone that's sticking by him to the degree, even though they don't necessarily agree with him. Because we all have that one friend. Let's be realistic. We don't necessarily agree with what they say. They'll say some off-the-wall stuff, and you just be like, what, did you just say that? No, nah, get out of here, bro. Stop playing with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just be, like, amazed, you know what I'm saying? But what do you think about this, man? Is it amazing that a lot of these companies are canceling? Uh, and also, before I end this, do you think he's still uh, a billionaire? I, I think he's a millionaire now. And do you also, let me ask people this. Do you think YouTube, uh, Apple, because I haven't heard anything about them, uh, Amazon music. Do you think these companies are the next ones to cancel Kanye West due to his anti-Semitic remarks in the Dream Champs interview? You tell me in the comments, guys. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for supporting. Until next time, guys. I'm out. <laughs> I want to thank the legends of the channel, channel, the Ibler, Maddie, Maddie.